copy the formula from my webpage and you can find the link in the description below paste it to your workbook and you need to change some of these cell references this cell reference here is the condition value and in this case it's one and this cell range here is this should point to this cell range here and this cell reference here we want it to fetch values from this cell range here somewhere over to there and this one to this and to this except this cell reference here it should point to column C and the rows cell reference here to A1 so this is what it should look like and then enter it as an array formula press and hold control and shift and then press enter and then simply click and hold on this black dot here and drag it to cells below and here is the sorted list if you want the list to be sorted from Z to A change the less sign and then enter it as an array formula and paste and you need to do that on two locations here and now it works so what this formula does is that it looks for this value here in this column here and if they are a match it returns the corresponding value from this column and they are sorted from A to Z if I change this so to compare this value with the values here I'm using the equal sign and then a cell reference to this and an equal sign again and a cell reference to this and then enter it as an array and this array shows you if this value is equal to 1 and they, this returns true and 2 returns false this returns true and so on the county function lets you uh, rank values based on their position in a sorted array and I'll show you what I mean by that county function and then the cell range comma and in the second argument use the less than sign and an ampersand to concatenate this with the cell reference in this case the same cell reference and an ending parenthesis and enter it as an array formula and now the array is shown here from this array formula and the first value if you have sorted these 
the first value would have been a so that has a zero here the second one is number one b third one e fourth f and so on so this array here allows us to sort the values and the next step is to use the if function and then the logical expression this one and if this logical expression is true it returns this array this value a value in this array and if it is false it should return a blank or nothing and now I forgot something an equal sign there and now it returns the ranked values that has category 1 in this column here and here and the small function can sort the values in this array equal sign small parenthesis and in the first argument it's the array or the cell reference in this case it's an array and then uh, in the second argument you use a number and if you want the smallest value you, you type one here and if you want the second smallest value you type two and so on and I want this to change as I copy the formula to cells below so to do that I'm using the rows function and um, cell reference that expands as I copy this to cells below so this cell reference here has two parts and I want the first part to be locked to this cell here and the second part changes as I copy the formula to cells below and I'll show you so the smallest value in this array is number one the second smallest value is number three and the rows function here changed the cell reference here changed so now it has it, cell reference now has two rows and the rows function returns the number of rows in a cell reference and if I copy this to the next cell it changes so now it has three cells so this small function returns the third smallest value in this array here and in this case it's number four and so on and the next step is to find the first va value in this array here so where is number one in this array here it's in position one two three four five six five i mean and to do that i'll use the match function equal sign match and the first value is the lookup value and the second argument is the lookup array and the lookup array is this array here this is the array I want to search and an ending parenthesis and this and this returns an error because I forgot and this returns an error because I forgot the third argument and that should be zero so the first value is number one 
and it's in position 5 in this array so it means that it's this value here that I want to fetch or extract and that is simple use the index function and then the cell reference to this column and now the formula so far and then an ending parenthesis and enter it as an array formula and now it returns b just like this cell here and then click and hold and drag on this dot to cells below and you can see that it extracts the values that is in category 1 sorted from A to Z.